Yo, we back with another video. Wait, hold up. I mean, I guess. Oh, what's good youtube um but i haven't posted in a while and i'm sorry for that i just want to make that first and foremost reason for it is because obviously i've been very busy but like work and stuff like that but i knew this week i had to get a video up for it today and i'm definitely gonna upload it today as well because like i said i got some things going on so i'm definitely gonna upload this today you know we got school coming up next week so we're going definitely the videos are still gonna keep coming even when school starts and work and all that the videos still gonna keep coming up so that's that so today it's not technically it's not an unboxing because i already unboxed it and as you, as you, as you can see from the title, um, I am currently using it to record this video. So yes, I'm using my new phone to record this video. So if you look at my previous videos and you look at this one, you can clearly see like the difference in quality and stuff like that. I'm currently using it for this video, but I did take pictures with another phone so you can see it. And I'll put that like as I explain and talk about it and stuff like that. But I do have the box here, so I'll just talk about it and some of the features it has. So I'm basically just doing a review video and um. This is a part of just my future videos and the quality is going to be better. So I'm really excited to do this video, you know, just talk about it real quick. My review on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Yes, that's what I have. And I, you know, the dude there was telling me, he was like, yes, yeah, it's good for vlogging, for content creators, for YouTube. And I was like, say less, bro. <laughs> and also for photography too, like pictures and stuff like that. I'm going to still get my own camera. But um, I really needed a phone really bad, so I was just like, I might as well just get this. So this is going to be my review. If you like the video, comment. If you are already subscribed, like the video. If you are not subscribed, subscribe. You know, I try to tell the people who are already subscribed, like the video. The people, if you're not subscribed and you enjoy the video, subscribe. So help me out. Um, you know what I'm saying? Look at previous videos. Link's going to be in the description. I'll probably put the thumbnails up here. So uh, let's get to it. Then pro me focus focus okay iphone 11 pro max so i'm not going to do a long video on the review um just because i want to make it like 15 20 minutes long I'm probably gonna make it like 10 minutes or less just because it doesn't need to be a long video but um yeah so basically i got the midnight green color it's like the new color that comes for like the apple products now i think it's the new color that comes with the pros um so i got midnight green i wanted jet black but they said they had midnight green and i was like i wasn't tripping anything but white i did not want white white is just to me no not for an iphone not white i needed dark colors so yeah i got the midnight green you know what i'm saying i got the one with the three cameras so if people don't know so this camera is the regular camera that's like your regular one that you use just for everyday photos then the one on the side is the ultra wide so like basically to zoom out and get like the whole field of view right and then this last camera right about here it's, it's called the telephoto lens Basically like to zoom in and it gives you like extra details like photography cams and stuff like that. It, it basically, it just zooms in for you, gives you better like, I guess quality and stuff like that. So yeah, um, I mainly use uh, the regular one and then I also use portrait mode. Like portrait mode like enhances the photo, y'all know about that. So um, yeah, and basically what comes with the iPhone 11 Pro Max is this crazy, it's called the fat, I don't actually, I don't know what it's called. I just call it the fast charge. I've seen people in other videos just call it the fast charge. I know it has a name for it. So basically it has this really unusually large box. So usually the regular one's like a square cube. This one's a huge box, okay? And then when you take it out, it's not like a regular iPhone or it's not like a USB. It's like a weird, never seen this tip before. It's like really weird, but the box is like three times as big as the usual one. But then on the end, obviously it's like the regular iPhone. So you plug this into here, I kid you not, they said it on their website or something like that or a review I saw, but literally in like 30, 35 minutes or less, your phone can go from zero to 50% in less than 30 minutes. I was like, that is complete cap. That is complete cap, right? Yeah, they were not capping. <laughs> they were not capping. I, there was times where, and I just got the phone for what, a week now? And I had it die all the way once. So it was one time where I let it die fully. And then I charged it in the morning. So I was like, let me time it, right? 28 minutes ago, I watched two YouTube videos. They were both like 15 minutes apart and then I stopped. So it was about 28, 30 minutes. It went from 0% to like 66%. I was like, what? Like, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. So, and I think this only comes with the iPhone, iPhone 11 Pro. So, it does not come with the 11 or lower, just the Pros. Now, can you buy this? 
I have no idea, but if you can buy this, I'm sure it's pretty expensive. So I'm gonna try my best not to lose it. Um, but yeah, that's the fast charger. That's great. Um, so yeah, I opened the... So yeah, obviously it gives you like my earbuds, the free ones they give you are somewhere over there. I use those whenever my AirPods die. Um, speaking of AirPods, there was a rumor where like the new iPhones, like the one after the next one, like the 13 and up, are not gonna come with the like the jack at the end like the headphone and charger jack is all gonna be like wireless it's like airpods are gonna be required wireless charging which is kind of crazy to me but i can see apple doing something like that so you got your stickers stuff like that i usually never use these stickers for anything sometimes i put it on my laptop i might put them on my laptop and i always keep my boxes i still have my seven plus box somewhere in my under my bed somewhere i always keep the boxes and all this extra stuff I never read because like why do you need to read it? I always found it fascinating like the interior design of the boxes like I don't know I just find that very satisfying. I don't know. Just the thing about Apple products is that they're all just satisfying. It's just all simple and easy to use and good. It's, you know what I'm saying? The thing, the one main thing I like about Apple and Android is that Apple like their products are simple cool design, easy format. iOS is like an easy, cool format. When I go on Android, because both of my parents have like Androids, when I go on Android, it's like, it's not that it's complicated, it's just that it's not as simple. And it's just, it's just I mean, not that I'm dumb or anything. It's just, that it's, I don't, I just don't like the format. It's just, I like Apple better. It's just more appealing to the eye. So yeah, and this, I think it's the SD card thing. Yeah, it's just pointing to the, or the SIM card, whatever you call it. And I, I, I guess it helps you take it out. Oh, it does help you take it out. It's this tool right here. I don't know, let me let it focus. Yeah, that tool right there helps you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll keep that just in case if I need it. But I never really take out the SIM card because I don't need to, unless you're getting a new phone. But they did that at T-Mobile. By the way, yeah, I have T-Mobile. So yeah, the three main things I love about this phone is one, the battery life. Now I think, the battery life is twice. Now, me personally, I'm comparing this off of my original phone, which I had the 7 Plus, okay? The 7 Plus, if I did my research correctly, had about 21. I forgot what the units were, but it was like 2,100 battery units of battery. And then the, the Pros, especially the Pro Max, had like twice as more. It was like 3,900 something. So the battery life was like enhanced by two, which is crazy because when I had my 7 Plus, I would always be below 50 percent i would always have to charge and i'm like bro this is so annoying so i barely have to charge this thing and when i do i told you that fast charging comes so in handy bro so it was definitely worth it i'm happy about that but um yeah if you're thinking about getting this phone it all depends like me personally let's say if i had the iphone x or if i had the iphone xs max or like you know the 11 just the regular one in my opinion there's no point of upgrading if I were you, I just wait till the next one. But me personally, in my situation, I had the seven plus, which is like generations and generations lower. So I'm like, and plus, like I'm due for an upgrade, and you know what I'm saying. I was just like, you know what? I'll just get this. You know what I'm saying? I'll just get the newest one. It'll hold me out for like four or five years, and I'm not gonna get a new a new phone until then, um, because I needed an upgrade. I still had a home button. I still had the fingerprint. The fingerprint was cool, but the face ID. If you have a mask on, it's gonna be very hard to like, you know, get used to it. Cause if you have a mask on, they don't recognize you. But uh, the face ID, it's it is pretty accurate. It's very very accurate. I didn't think it was gonna be that accurate. But yeah, it's that's it's the battery life. I really love the battery life. Two, the screen size. The screen size, I think it's the same as the XS Max. They both have the, like the 6.5 millimeter or 6.5 inch. I'm sorry, um, which is literally a whole inch bigger than my 7 Plus. I thought the 7 Plus was big, but this phone, the screen size is ridiculous. So I really enjoy that. And plus me personally, I like big phones when it comes to editing videos or just editing pictures or watching stuff. I just love the big screen. That's the second thing, the screen is amazing. And then the third and final thing, is just like the quality of the phone when you look at it. So I think when it comes to the brightness, it has like OLED, which is like what they have in 4K TVs, like the new thing they have. Um, I don't know exactly what it means. I, obviously when you hear light, like LED light, I don't know what OLED means. But the dude was trying to explain it to me it was like the the brightness and the way it adjusts to the light that's like for example if you're in the sun it adjusts as well with the brightness and it doesn't you know it's just it's a lot of technical stuff i'm not that techie i kind of understood it it's hard to explain especially for me but yeah it has like oled brightness and um i can definitely tell when i'm in the dark compared to my 7 plus when i was in the dark that like the brightness and quality is just it's like it's enhanced it's like it's better 
it's much much better and compared to my 7 plus so i can definitely tell like when i was going to my when i was going through my photos i noticed i was like my photos never really looked this good before <laughs> but i realized like as i was scrolling through it like there's the quality of the screen and just everything was just it was really really good i'm like surprised with that too and then obviously i don't even have to get into the pictures and photos i mean i i got the phone about a week ago but i've been pretty busy so i haven't been able to like really test the camera video out a lot so this is really the first time i'm recording a video and stuff like that and i can clearly tell just by looking at it that the quality is definitely better you know and they have the 4k videos on the selfie and the regular camera side on the rear uh, camera side which is crazy to me it's it's definitely an upgrade for me i'm happy about that so when i upload this video i'm definitely gonna post a picture i did some i did a little photo shoot yesterday with some toys um so yeah once i upload that today you'll see it when i uh, post it on instagram and when i upload the youtube video but yeah it's the quality of the cameras it's a huge upgrade bro and i tell you i always use the regular camera if i need to use ultra wide like to get a group picture i will and if i if i need to use the, the, the telephoto lens i'll use it but i mainly just use the regular camera and then i just use um portrait mode you know and let's say the picture just may happen and not come out correctly i just go into edit and just do what i have to do um but yeah i'm really satisfied and i'm also satisfied with the selfie portrait um i didn't have that on the selfie plus that was cool too i don't really use selfie portrait that much but if i had to i will that was cool as well but yeah overall just to conclude and to wrap it up i'm really like you know excited with this phone i can't wait to do more videos and take more pictures and like i said somewhere probably in the video i'll show it i'm pretty i'm sure i showed it like minutes ago in the video of like the phone i took it on another phone so um so yeah like let me know what kind of phone you have let me know if you want to upgrade your phone i definitely have to upgrade mine um so this video is already about like 10 minutes long so i don't want to make it too long so definitely a video next week like i said i have been busy but like i said the grind doesn't stop i'm, sure I'm still trying to do a video every week so just to wrap it up um video next week and uh i think that's it is that it all right peace out